Hey everyone, this is Noble Artist here, and today in this video, I'm going to bring you guys just another review. This is the custom LEGO Bomb Squad Troopers that I said I was going to make, and I finally finished them today. Um, I will be going home probably either tomorrow or Friday, so uh, this will be the last video um, that I'm going to be posting for um, at least a couple days. It might even be a week, I'm not too sure. I do have some of my older videos that I can repost because they're on my channel that got deleted. I still have some of them. They're not, you know, the best because they were done almost four years ago or even older than that. So I might try to uh, post a couple of those older ones until I can get back um, to my workshop and make some new stuff. But um, I finished these two. They're going to be awesome. I might put these on eBay uh, tomorrow. I don't know because I won't be home, so I won't have them. And if I sell them, I can't ship them out. So... Um, I may not put them on eBay right now, but I'll let you guys know um, when that happens. But both of these are exactly identical. I have two of these um, Bomb Squad Troopers. Um, I made two exactly the same. So I'm just going to show you one of them. Leave this guy down here by the side. Now they do have weapons. They are right here. Um, this guy's holding them. They are being um, painted. And the black paint is drying. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this video because I got stuff going on today. And I can't wait around for paint to dry because that takes too long. So... Anyway, moving on to this review. Um, this is one of the simpler customs that I've made simply because it's a Bomb Squad Trooper and there's not a whole lot you can do with it because about 80% of this figure is orange. So you can't really do a lot with orange. And I um, I mean, I could go all the way and, and do a really crazy one, but it's going to take a lot of time. And um, I'm trying to make some that are more affordable. So... Um, I decided to do some bomb squads. I love these figures by the way. Don't get me wrong Orange is my favorite color and these figures are awesome. They're really underrated, but um, You are very limited of what you can do with them. So anyway moving on right here We already have the leg printing right here for the boots um, Which is also really nice and convenient and then I have my armor here for the knee pads and then the uh, black fabric going around for the under armor and then the centerpiece here painted white with the orange stripe got four pieces here on the belt very nice belt pieces with my two-tone colors white and black and then the silver dot in the middle now all here on the chest is that is actual lego printing i didn't paint any over it and i figured i didn't really need to because i do like the way that this printing looks um, on this figure and it saves me some painting and it's easier uh, if you guys want to handle it it's not going to scratch any of that off so that's also a plus uh, move on to the side we have the normal armor got the shorter pad um, the elbow pad on the back, the gauntlet, uh, and the wrist guard. Um, the elbow pad I painted solid orange. I do like leaving the elbow pads a solid color. And I kind of also like leaving this gauntlet here a solid color too. Um, both sides of the figure are exactly the same. You can see that orange stripe going from the shorter pad also continues there. Very, very nice. And then on the back of the figure, I have two more of these ammo packs, one on either side of the figure. And then I have the thermal detonator, of course, in the middle. And then, like I said, this goes here, this wraps around. That is the under armor suit that's going to be um, where the joints of the figure are. That They have a black suit that's underneath their armor, and you can see that through the joints um, of the figure. Um, and then, of course, the backpack right here, very simple backpack. Um, but you can see it there how it does pop off just a little bit um, with that. Um, and then the helmet. Now, if you haven't seen these helmets beforehand, let me grab one really fast. So, oh my goodness, I grabbed one that I already did painted. Uh, okay, so I got some bad news. Apparently, I have like five other of these figures, and all of them I had painted. Um, the helmet because I guess I was preparing to make these figures a long time ago as well but I'll probably scratch this paint off because this is Apple World paint and it's old um, so I can probably just scratch this off um, of the figure at a later time but basically this white was a dull white I don't have one to show you unfortunately but it's like a duller color it's just weird pale kind of pasty white that goes over it so I just accented it with real white this is testers uh, model paint so just trying to fill that in make it look more I guess uh, like it's painted on there like it should be um, and you might not be able to tell but in here uh, this cheek piece 
and then also back there is painted and then also the fin is painted orange it's a very very subtle orange it's the same orange that I use for the stripes of the figure um, I used to put there just to give it some more texture um, give a couple more different colors but I probably should have added something to it because it is actually almost the same color as the helmet and you might not be able to see it in the slide and you can see it when you're holding the figure um, it is a very subtle color but you can see it in person and then I put a little black dot there. I basically just replaced it because when I painted it, I actually painted over it. Um, these, I forgot to put the neck guard, but they do have the clone head. I will be putting a neck guard on these. Do not worry. Um, when I do take pictures of these figures, um, they will have the neck guard. And if they do go on eBay, they will have those. As well as the guns, they will be finished. Um, this is just my regular clone gun, uh, my design. Uh, they're almost done. They're still drying. And also, let me know if you guys want to see those in a pack. I was thinking about doing maybe a group of four or five of them um, as a set and putting them on my eBay channel. Um, so let me know if you want to do that because I'm running low on guns. I only have um, this bag here. It may look like a lot, but um, this is all that I have left. And if I'm going to be selling these, if you guys want my weapons that I make um, in a pack, I'll have to get more um, to do that. I found someone who, who does sell them, um, but they're kind of expensive to get the amount that I would need. So if it's worth my time and you guys are interested in getting some of those, um, let me know and I will go ahead and, and buy them so I can customize some of these weapons for you, um, put them in a pack. So anyway, that is that. I hope you enjoyed these figures. There's actually two, but I only showed you one because they're exactly the same figure. Uh, I made them exactly the same made them at the same time so you can just see for yourself that they are the same figure um so yeah these guys are really awesome i hope you enjoyed them um if you like this video hitchhike it don't forget to leave a comment down below if you're the first person to leave a comment on my video you'll get a shout out right up in here um please hit the subscribe button it would help me out a whole lot I and mean, it's super encouraging when i can tell you guys um appreciate what i'm doing and then once all this craziness is over because um, my brother's coming back into the country and all that cool stuff. So when everything kind of settles back down, I'm going to be doing some other things in Star Wars. I want to do some superheroes. Some people mentioned doing Flash and um, Batman and stuff like that. So I want to try to do some more superhero stuff. And then also for my set review um, on Sundays, I won't, I'm obviously going to be gone. I'm um, going to the airport on Sunday, so I won't be able to get one out then. But when I get back into it, I'm going to do... The Shadow Trooper pack, and then hopefully I'll have some of the superhero sets and some other cool sets to do um, on a review. I might actually do more than one on that Sunday, so um, stay tuned for that. Don't forget the uh, reviews I do, I give the sets away, so um, be sure you're subscribed by then so you can have a chance to win um, those awesome sets that I review. So, alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching this video. God bless, have an awesome day, and I'll see you later. Oh, one other thing, don't forget that if you're entering my contest, feel free to post your... Um, videos or let me know that you have your videos up on this um, video um, just leave it down comment down below tell me that you have yours uploaded and i will go check it out and add it to the playlist um so yeah alrighty see ya